The objectives for this video are to define and learn to identify the nominal level of measurement, the ordinal level of measurement, the interval level of measurement, and the ratio level of measurement. The nominal level of measurement classifies data into mutually exclusive, or in other words, non-overlapping, categories in which no order or ranking can be imposed on the data. The cars in a parking lot can be classified according to their color. There might be red, blue, green, or silver cars in the lot, but no ranking or order can be imposed on the variable color. Classifying residents according to zip codes is also an example of the nominal level of measurement. Even though numbers are assigned as zip codes, there is no meaningful order or ranking. The ordinal level of measurement classifies data into categories that can be ranked. However, precise differences between the ranks do not exist. T-shirt size is an example of the ordinal level of measurement. We can easily differentiate between and rank the sizes extra large, large, medium, and small, but precise differences cannot be measured between the sizes. The interval level of measurement ranks data and precise differences between units of measure do exist. However, there is no meaningful zero. IQ is an example of the interval level of measurement. There is a meaningful difference of one point between an IQ score of 109 and an IQ score of 110. But there is no meaningful zero to this scale as IQ tests do not measure people who have no intelligence. Temperature of a jumping frog is another example. There is a meaningful difference of 1 degree Fahrenheit between a temperature of 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit and 99.6 degrees Fahrenheit. But 0 degrees Fahrenheit does not imply that the frog has no temperature. The ratio level of measurement possesses all the characteristics of interval measurement and there exists a true zero. In addition, true ratios exist when the same variable is measured on two different members of the population. If one person has 200 Instagram followers and another person has 100 followers, then not only is there an interval difference of 100 followers, but we can also state the relationship between them as a ratio of 2 to 1. Stated another way, the first person has twice as many followers as the second person. There is also a meaningful zero. If the value of the variable is zero, it implies that a person has no Instagram followers. In this video, we defined and learned how to identify the nominal level of measurement, the ordinal level of measurement, the interval level of measurement, and the ratio level of measurement.